Hey y'all, Dekuban here, and welcome back to FF14 Stormblood. First, let me apologize, I haven't gotten a video out in the last few days, and it's mostly been my fault. Well, mostly mine and a little bit of the weather's, but my schedule's not been what I've wanted it to be, and the few times I've wanted to sit down and record, well, it got too bloody hot, and I was like, if I shut my door and turn on the recorder in 15 minutes, I'm probably gonna short my microphone out from all the sweat. Ugh, nobody wants that. <sighs> and then yesterday, I had it all figured out. I had the time, the weather was cooperating, and it was server maintenance day. Oh, fight me for not paying attention to which day it is. Ah, ah, but it's a new day. It's a new day. Now, uh, the other thing is, I thought I might actually do the gunbreaker quest, but it turns out we won't get anything substantial from them until the 70 quest. So I'm just gonna let them sit idle until we hit either 70 or so close to 70 that finishing the quest lines will get me to 70. And then we'll go do them all at once. So in the meantime, back to the main story where last we were, the Rogers Reach Resistance Cell is sitting here trying to recruit some more members when we had a lovely little long distance encounter, thank goodness, with the Skulls. Lovely, lovely group of Alamegan turncoats working for the Garlands. Why? There's always one of these in a conflict. And as someone pointed out, yeah, naming your group the Skulls is just basically dooming yourself, so... Yeah. Anywho, there's a couple more main story quests here in Rogers Reach as we basically are just kind of killing time, helping them out. So we'll do a dash of green. You want to help, do you? Hmm. Seeing as how I'm in no position to leave the stoop halt unattended, could you go and ask Teb for a variety of herbs? Six sprigs or so of whatever he's got on hand should suffice. It's not as haphazard as it may seem. Depending on the recipe, it doesn't really matter what sort you add, so long as you add something. I'll be here when you get back. See, this is what happens when you're in these little resistance cells. They'll cook anything into a stew, and you're like, ugh, Primanelli. I don't know, depending on what's in that stew pot, no amount of herbs will save it. Ah, this must be said Teb. Herbs, is it? Six sprigs of whatever's on hand. I'm afraid I can't spare that much. You'll take two, and be glad of it. Hmm. Methinks I might be wandering for the other four. The remainder you'll have to gather yourself. It shouldn't be too much of a bother, though. You'd be surprised what you can find growing underfoot, even in the reach. See? I knew it. I knew it! Oh, and these search radii are huge! Oh, that's just gonna suck. Okay. Well, oh, there's one, thankfully. Thank goodness these things stick out like sore thumbs. Give me that. Dang, dank weed! That's all I'm picking up for these guys. That's all it is. I'm just putting weed in the freaking stew pot now. Alright, here's the last one. All the way at the northern freaking part of the map. The other two, pretty easy to find. Uh, one's actually right by the other main story quest. Figured I'd kind of want to finish this one first, and then we'll pick up our new quest. Alright, six herbs. Don't ask where four of them came from, because I have no idea. Ah, there you are. Got those herbs I asked for. Exactly. Here you are. Thanks, this'll do nicely. And, uh, sorry to impose upon you, sir. Thought you were another new recruit. Didn't realize until after that you were, um... The Warrior of Light? Yeah, pretty much. But to answer the question that's probably on your mind, yes, it's always like this. Never enough food or supplies to go around. All the more reason to be grateful when our countrymen can spare some for the cause. Though that comes at a cost, too. Too many villages, too many children more deserving than us. But a man can't fight on an empty stomach, can he? So we partake as we must, and we never lose sight of the dream. Never losing sight of the dream? It's definitely the right answer. Hey! There's 65! <laughs> that would technically get us the second Gunbreaker quest, but like I said, we'll wait until we're 70 or damn close to it. And our last quest... Talking to one of the Anantas as well. Hmm. Interesting. What do we got? Ye Wayward Brothers. Interesting. I wonder what voice I'm going to stick you guys with. You look like a stider in search of comrades in need. If so, I have a task for you. I am a trainer, 
and I was told to expect new recruits this eve. Yet Neri Awan has come. Perhaps they were given the wrong time or location. I do not know. They number five in all these would-be warriors. Send them unto me, should you chance to find them. I have no idea if that's going to work or not. We shall see. We shall see. These guys are everywhere. Where are they? Oh my goodness. Everywhere is not an <laughs> inaccurate description. These guys are just scattered all over the reach. Again. Why do you guys always have to hide in the freaking corners of the place? I know, I know I'm late. But I had to say a prayer for my sister first. After what the Imperials did to her, death was a mercy. Ooh. Ooh, there's some dark implications right there. There you are, man. You're holy. What are you doing? You shadow boxing with a rock? Huh? Training? Yeah, I was so busy practicing to impress the others that I completely forgot. Thank you. So busy training to train that he forgot to train. Good job. What are you doing hiding here in the corner? Oh, a thousand pardons. So preoccupied beside by the question of whether Alamigo should be a monarchy or a republic that I neglected to intend my training. How silly I know. Until we drive the Imperials from our lands, the question is moot. Uh-huh. Good lord. Some people have too much time on their hands. Well, this was an easy one. He's right over here by the other quest. The teacher calls for me. I see. We were discussing strategies for disabling Magitek armor, you see, and... Ah, uh, yes, of course. There is no time. If you would excuse me. Uh, disabling magic armor, right? that's pretty easy. I just hit it really hard. Ugh, you sneaky little bastards, trying to hide in the corner. Oh, and we have a scaredy cat for our last. Oh, bugger, you, you were set by the snake, weren't you? I'd one of four recruits doesn't live through their training. That can't be true, right? Oh, bugger, oh, bugger. Don't worry. There's five of you, so your odds are slightly better. Okay, let's turn this one in. All recruits are present and accounted for. My thanks to you, Strider. Not all appreciate the rigor with which I train my recruits. Some favor a gentler approach, as if the Imperials would be so kind. Tis a thankless job to teach some, say, but I say their survival is thanks enough. Fare you well. <laughs> Not too bad of a quest. You know, dragging me all over the reach left and right, but hey. I suppose. Now, where am I headed next? Looks like it's still here in the reach. Come on. I can't make that jump. That's very sad. Uh, nope. It is literally right over here. The swarthy resistance fighter. What are you going to have me doing, good sir? Token of faith. Damn it all. Where could it have gone to? Where's what? Oh, pardon me, fellow lover of freedom and justice. You haven't seen a ward of the Destroyer anywhere, have you? Maybe on the ground, as if a certain bloody fool had dropped it. Aye, I'd been him. I had it this morning, that much I know for certain. And I've not left the Reach since, so it's got to be around here somewhere. Hmm. If you've got a moment to spare, would you be willing to help me search? I spent some time near the Temple of the Fist earlier, so it might be there. As for me, I'll look around near the Officer's Pavilion. They're hardly rare, I know, and I could just as easily buy another. But even so, please help me find it. Something tells me this has got some sentimental value. Temple of the Fist, god dang it. That is all the way up there. Ah, there we go. <laughs> Literally just round the corner, boom, there it is. Uh, still a bit of a hike to get back though. Thank you. And it's literally just a down, oh, okay. I don't have to go this far. Thank you game for not making me have to walk all the way back over by the etherite. Yeah, he's literally just here waiting for me. I swear, I've such high and low, but it just won't turn up. Don't worry, I got it. It's right here. Seven Hills, that's the one! That's my lucky ward! You're a godsend, brother. Before I was born, my mother made a pilgrimage to the Temple of the Fist, where she, like many others, received the blessings of the monks. And then Theodoric came and burnt it all to the ground, the mad bastard. And after him came the Guardians, who cared even less for our beliefs. But I still keep to the old ways, as do many others. And when my son is born, I'll teach him the stories and the scripture, as my mother taught me. <laughs> kind of a sweet little quest. Ah, and back to Alphino, which means we should be getting, you know, some actual progress here. 
Crossing the Velodyna. I see earrings that I can't do anything with. And with that, another task is complete. Ah, Dekumon, I hear you have been keeping busy. Mm-hmm. Aye, that he has, and we thank him for it. It pleases me to inform you that our new recruits have completed their initial training and stand ready to contribute. And I have lost Conrad's voice completely once again. That's what happens when you're stuck not being able to record for a few days. As discussed, Monaco, I would have you present my proposal for an assault on Castellum Velodyna to General Alden personally. Ah, that's right. They were going to go after Velodyna. <laughs> but we needed the recruits first. Of course, sir. Are you and yours planning to return to Castrum Orients before the operation? If so, why don't we travel together? That seems a fine suggestion, but I must consult my comrades ere we depart. Very well. I will wait for you at the pass, but not too long. I'm impatient after all. I expect Kryle and Ishtola will wish to remain here to support the Kshur... God, I can never pronounce this! Ugh. I always want to say surgeons, but I believe the correct, uh, the correct pronunciation, if I'm remembering from Heaven's Word, is Chirurgeons. So, if I end up saying churgeons a couple times, I apologize. But nevertheless, we should go and ask them. Probably a good idea. It would not do to disappear on Ishtola. She would be upset. Hmm? Is all to miss? No, we're uh, just taking off. Want to make sure you're all right with that. I see. That would explain the sudden flurry of activity outside. This joint operation marks a turning point in our conflict with the Guardians. For the first time, the Resistance and the Alliance shall go on the offensive and attempt to capture an Imperial outpost in occupied territory. Personally, I believe it is imperative that we offer them our full support. As was the case with Ishgard, however, this is not a choice to be made lightly, nor less on others' behalf. This is war, and every scion must decide what part he or she would play. I'll fight! For Alamigo! For my father! For Ida! I'm in it to the end! The choice was made for us ere before we were born, brother, when the Empire marched on Eorzea. They will stop at nothing to subjugate or slaughter us all. Van Bilsar and Van Darnus were but the first to try. Fair enough. Though your fervor is surprising, I cannot dispute your logic. At the risk of repeating myself, I am of course of the same mind. The present situation is untenable, and further complicated by the existence of Ilbert's primal. I believe we have no recourse but to directly and openly intervene. I thought this a foregone conclusion given our actions thus far, but if you require renewed affirmation, then yes, I am still wholly committed to this cause. For it is ultimately the self-same cause I have served since first I pledged to serve Master Louis Soir and the Circle of Knowing, the salvation of Eorzea, by any means necessary. That said, I shall refrain from taking the field on this occasion. There are many here who require further treatment, and doubtless more to come after. Yeah, no kidding. If they're going to assault an Imperial base, even a small one, probably good to have some skilled healers in the back waiting. I came here from Minfilia. And that hasn't changed. However, I'd like to stay with the stroller for now and tend to the wounded. Ugh, I can feel my voice going already. Damn. As for you, Dekobon, you are, to quote our dear friend Lord Edmund, the man who slew Gaius van Bilsar and some half dozen primals besides. Your presence may well prove the difference between victory and defeat. My presence? I plan on carrying this thing. Many look to you as a hero and heap great expectations upon your shoulders. But you, like every scion, must decide for yourself. If you really expect me to say no, what do we got here? I'll fight. The Empire poses too great a threat. We can but carry on for those we have lost, for those we can yet save. As long as there's a battle to be fought, I'll be there. To be frank, Alfie, this isn't my fight, but I will do what I must. No, no, I, I want to put the Empire in their place. In a heartbeat, I want to put the Empire in their place. Indeed, as you have doubtless seen during your time in the outlying villages, their so-called meritocracy is but a pretext to torture and enslave their lesser subjects. Such is the fate that awaits us all should their expansion continue unchecked. 
Ooh. Not a pleasant thought, thank you. Take care, Ishtola, Kryl, and do not hesitate to contact us should you require assistance. Please, I would ask that you remain here by Conrad's side. We should go, or Monaco will leave without us. Yes, yes, she would. I am half surprised she hasn't left already. Hmm? Might I persuade you to join us, Dekumon? Should you wish to give your decision further consideration, Castrum Orients would seem an apt place to do it. You need not answer right away. I'm sure I can convince Monago to wait just a little longer. Hmm. Alright. Don't know why, though. What's the plan here, crew? So, you will be accompanying us. For glad am I to hear it. All set. Excellent. Then, let us be off. Uh, Castrum Orions, correct? Yep, all the way Castrum Orions. Easy teleport. Yeah, didn't think so. Welcome back, comrades. What news? Greetings, General. I am come at Commander Kemp's behest to brief you on the latest developments at the Reach. Our recruitment efforts have exceeded expectations. In addition to welcoming many motivated young Alamegans, our ranks have been bolstered by the arrival of a number of experienced veterans, thanks in large part to the efforts of the Scions. As a consequence, we are now able to field half a dozen new units, with more being trained as we speak. That's actually pretty good. Good. I gather Conrad is eager to strike while the iron's hot. Mm-hmm. Just so, General. He proposes that we begin preparations for a joint operation to capture Castellum Velodyna. Capture Velodyna? That will not be easy. It will, however, be necessary if we are to ever push east towards the capital. There is no profit in delay. It is only a matter of time before the Gaulians learn of our plans and summon reinforcements. The Alliance hereby accepts Commander Kemp's proposal. Tell him to take no chances. Bring every able-bodied Alamegan who can wield a weapon. Pippin, I want fellow Dino watched. Assess its defenses. Every fortress has a weakness, and I would know this one's. If there is no objection, General, might the Scions join Marshal Terrapin? Probably not a terrible idea. By all means, if that is all, then let us be about it. I saw that sneaky nod you tried to put in at the last second game. I saw it. Can't sneak one by me. Conrad and the General are one mind, it seems. I only wish I could say the same. While this aggressive strategy may well profit us in the end, what losses will we suffer in the meantime? Anyway, we should speak with the Vice Marshal about this reconnaissance mission and see how he would like to proceed. Probably not a bad idea, and yep. Can't take any earrings, so... Keep taking more dang materia. Oh, uh, sorry, I have to talk to Pippin to get the next quest. In Crimson, it began. Oh dear. Thank you for volunteering to join me. This should be a fairly straightforward reconnaissance mission, so long as we do not have the ill fortune to run afoul of an Imperial patrol. Why did you have to say that, Pippin? Why? Come, our destination is beyond East End, just north of Veladina. <sighs> Have you made it pretty much guarantee we're going to run into a Garlean patrol on the way there? Ah, another duty calls. Lovely. Just as we had Raubon Extreme before. Kind of the same problem happened here. Although in this case, this one was nicknamed Pippin Savage. Because <laughs> you had to get through the Extreme first to get to it. This ought to be close enough. Now, we settle in for a long watch. That said... It would be prudent to keep your weapons at the ready. In the event a passing patrol stumbles upon us, or worse, your chocobo just decides to disappear in the middle of our conversation. Upon reconnoitering Castellum Velodyna, several cutscenes will play in sequence. Ah! So, a popcorn warning and a duty calls at the same time. No wonder this one was savage. I wonder if this one will be voice acted. Probably. Excellent. The disposition of the Imperial forces is exactly as expected. I will notify Father. Yeah, I thought so. Usually anytime there's a popcorn warning, odds are good something's going to be voiced. Uh -oh. Cannon fire! Where did it come from? Oh, shit. 
Smoke! There! Is that... Oh, gods, it's Ralga's reach. Oh, shit. Oh, well, so much for our attack. They beat us to it. It's no use. I think someone's jamming our communications. Great. You don't think... Could this be part of a coordinated attack? Probably. Too early to draw conclusions. We must abort the assault and return to the Reach at once. Mm -hmm. Alright, here we go. This is about to get ugly, I can feel it. Shit, it's the skulls. That probably means for Dora's wandering around here somewhere too. Yep, there she is. Ooh! Unfortunately, she's no slouch. Forward! Forward! A Fordola. No I'm sorry. I mispronounced your name, I think. <gasps> Damn. <sighs> Finally, somebody who can actually take a skull down. You! Traitor! Kinslayer! You're no kin of mine! Jesus. She's fully gone over. Oh no! I dang it! <sighs> I mean, I knew we were gonna start losing characters for long, but dang it! Oh, right in front of Lise, too. That's gonna set her off. Oh, nice! Help take you! <laughs> yeah. Oh, at least could put up a much better fight. Oh no. Oh no. Xenos is here. This will not well, well, well. Stand aside, Pilus. This one has promise. Uh oh. Have a care, my lord. She's not like the others. She's a main character. She knows how to fight. Hmm. Do not disappoint me, girl, or I will kill you. Jesus. What the fuck? <laughs> it's like a revolver barrel for katana blades. Seven Hells. It's him. It's Xenos. Okay, I was pronouncing that correctly. I wasn't sure if it was Xenos or Xenos. So Xenos is the correct pronunciation. The voice right. Oh, you are a dead man. Ah, <laughs> uh, there goes that hot temper again. <laughs> Damn. Okay. So spirited and it's so empty. Okay, he's got some skills. Also, he's tall as hell. <laughs> oh. Oh, damn! Save by Stroller! Ah, a magical barrier. Alas. Hmm? It will not save you. Shit. Uh oh. He's using both hands! Oh. <gasps> oh shit. Oh it's my fire. god! Holy oh, shit. Hold the line, Byrolga! Hold the line! Did we just lose a Stola? Uh oh. Oh! And there goes Conrad. Oh, we are definitely too late. Oh, crap. Okay, Cryo made it out at least, and so did Monaco. Cryo! Alphano! Oh. 
We saw the smoke and thought we heard explosions. Are we under attack? Oh yeah, definitely. The Imperials were all over us before we realized what was happening. No one knew where to run or what to do. It was chaos. Lisa and Master Kemp rallied the guards and bought us enough time to get some of the wounded to safety, but I haven't seen either of them since. Shit. Confound it. If we lose the reach, this will all have been for naught. Mm -hmm. Arenvold, can you escort these people to the wall? Come on, man. Aye, sir. Good. Our place is at the reach. We must offer such aid and succor as we are able. Saving lives is now our paramount concern. You know, I was half afraid the dude was going to refuse and he's like, no, I want to go back. I want to fight. If we can hold back the Imperials until Father sends reinforcements, we may yet turn the tide. I'm assuming that means one of you is going to have to run back to the wall. I'll join you. I've done all I can for these people, and you'll be crying out for a healer in there. Yeah, definitely. I am not a healer right now. I fear you're right. Come, there is no time to lose. Yeah, and no offense, Alpha No, but you're halfway useless in a fight, <laughs> even with your black carbuncle. All right, let's get going. Oh, Pippin is coming with us. All right, I... Then who's gonna go back and tell uh, freaking Raubon we need assist? I'm an idiot. Of course, the guys we just sent back there. Oh dear. Well, there's a lot of you guys. Oh no, you don't. You know what? Tank stance. It's all over now. Start getting all the freaking guys I can get here. I do not want any of you guys hitting anyone but me. That is my job. I am the tank. You attack me. Of course, then I'm gonna tear you a couple new holes here. <laughs> I see Alice is still using gladiator skills. Hey. Is that everybody? I gotta zoom out a little bit so I can see better. There we go. Great. Oh, there's a whole crew over there still fighting. And there's Reapers. They've got Reapers. Come on, I gotta go. Savages? Oh, you're dead for that. All right, I think I've got everybody pulled as best I can here. Big old bow shot, gotta start focusing down these damn Reapers. Preferably a little further away so those AoE attacks aren't hitting everybody. I'll sit here, I will rampart this, I will take that hit. There we go, down to one Reaper. I'll even give you the good stuff. I really wish I had continuation. <sighs> okay. Jesus. It's a slaughter here. Oh. For the glory this. of the flames! Hold that thought, Pippin. He's oh. The Wolfkin. I can't remember their official name, but yeah. Yeah, there are, uh, there are dominated beastmen working with the Garlands. We will run into them properly later. Bow shock everybody, get that free damage in. There we go, almost there. That's everybody in this pack, right? God dang it. Uh-oh. It's for Dola. Hey! Hey! 
Nobody runs past me. Nobody. There we go. I got everybody's attention now. Now I can AOE your little butts down. Nope. I don't mind the small fry hits, but that big one from Ferdola, that can't take that. There we go. And then there was one. Who am I? I'm the war hero of light. You really think you could take me? Ah, oh, cutscene out. Uh oh. Oh damn! Good shot, Alpha. No. I go get the girls. Where's Zenos? Zenos. What took you so long? She's Alpha, all right. no, I need your help. <sighs> Come on, be okay, Estola. Can't have you dying on us right at the beginning of the damned adventure. My lord, the prisoners. See to your men, Pylus. Mm -hmm. Uh oh. That music does not bode well for me. As you command, my lord. He wants me, doesn't he? Your friends were a disappointment. But you... You will entertain me, will you not? <sighs> not gonna give me a choice. go our first fight against Xenos and considering how early we are in the expansion there's no way in hell this is gonna be the last time we have to fight him that would be such a tease one. if they're like oh yeah we're just gonna introduce this uh, crazy villain Xenos and then just completely utterly just throw him out oh that's damn my health bar Where did my health bar go? Oh, why? Oh, jeez. Those are attackable. Interesting. Okay. Okay, my my health was not happy with that. He wrecked me. And it is raining swords around here. Uh oh. That's not good. Oh, I should have jumped to him. <sighs> God, this guy hits like a truck. Uh oh. Oh, a donut AoE, you say? Oh. Ah! I can actually wreck the swords. Good to know. That makes this fight a little bit more easier, although, my God, he has health. He's not hitting too hard, but I am doing nothing to his HP bar. What are we at, 95? <sighs> You're gonna have to do better than that, Xenos. I might win this on pure attrition. Uh-oh. That doesn't bode well for me. Yep. Drop double freaking cooldowns, and oh my god, he still wrecked me. Okay. He hits like a truck with freaking steroids. I think I need a few more levels before I can take you on. Woo! <laughs> Or he could kill me right here, and I guess we'll have to play his least for the rest of the expansion. Oh! 
Ha! My head's too hard for you to cut. Pathetic. You calling me pathetic or your sword pathetic? I'm not sure. Uh-oh. And Fordola's coming to finish me off. Or are you just leaving? About bloody time, Raubon! Seven hells. Oh, okay, Fordola was following Xenos. Sorry, man. Getting the wounded and everyone else out of here first. Higher priority than trying to take on Xenos. Not to mention, he just handed me my ass. You really think you could take him? Shall we give chase, General? Hey, there has been enough death this day. See to the wounded. Aye, sir. <sighs> Still haven't told me if we lost a Stola or not. You all right, lad? Eh. Not the greatest. I think my pride may have taken a knock. <laughs> Well enough. Next time he'll pay. Yeah. Yeah, he definitely put me in my place. Jesus. There's no ordinary foe could best the likes of you. No kidding. That, my friends, is the power of plot armor. It sucks when it's not on your side. More ways than one here. Still trying to save Conrad. And Estola, come on, you two cannot die on me. Don't Doubly so for Estola. On Hold on. Don't worry, it's going to be all right. Oh, thank goodness. Alphano, Master Kemp is all yours. Understood. <sighs> Glad you two are at least decent at healing. Don't just stand there gawping. Hold her down while I work. What? Why? All right, fine. No funny business, me. No matter how tempting it might be. Don't really think she needs holding down. She is definitely uh, unconscious there. The worst is past, but without the proper facilities, I can do no more. Master Kemp too would be better served in the infirmary. Let us take them there without delay. Okay, well, at least they should be stable for now. Give us a hand, would you, Lise? Uh, oh, of course. <sighs> I know you must be exhausted, but there will be others who need our help. Leave these two to us and look to the other wounded. Okay, I suppose. I'm just worried about Estola. Can't be taking my freaking girl from me. You just can't, game. <sighs> well, that was insane. My goodness. All right, Raubon, let's wrap this one up. You did well, Dickamon. You saved lives. No matter what happens, remember that. Now then, let's do what we can for the wounded. Every minute counts. Well, there's also the fact that it's suddenly daylight out here. Good lord. Actually, probably a good spot to just stop for now after that. Whoo boy. So that's Xenos. Xenos. I keep calling him Xenos. I have to break that habit. But dang. Talk about an uphill fight there. That is a hell of a mountain we're going to have to climb and a lot of levels we're going to have to get in order to do it. If you've enjoyed this, please leave a like and favorite. And subscribe to join me for more Aeorzean adventures. And as always, I'll see you in the next video. Also, about a week, we'll have Neo The World Ends With You starting, so look forward to that one as well.